Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where I talk about all things crypto and blockchain. In today's video, I'm going to explain what Web3 is, how it works, and whether it is the future of the internet or just hype. You may have heard of Web3 as the next phase or evolution of the internet, but what does it really mean? How is it different from the current internet? And why should you care? To answer these questions, we need to understand the history and the problems of the internet as we know it today. The history and the problems of the internet, web 1 and web 2. The internet has gone through several changes and improvements since its inception. We can roughly divide its development into two stages, web 1 and web 2. Web 1, also known as the static web, was the first generation of the internet that emerged in the 1990s. It was mainly a one-way communication system where users could only read or consume information from websites but not interact or create content. Web1 was limited by slow speeds, low bandwidth, and high costs. Web2, also known as the dynamic web, was the second generation of the internet that emerged in the 2000s. It was mainly a two-way communication system where users could not only read but also write and share information on websites blogs, social media, and other platforms. Web2 enabled user-generated content, collaboration, and participation. However, Web2 also brought some problems and challenges that we are facing today. Some of these are Centralization Web2 is dominated by a few powerful platforms and intermediaries that control most of the data, content, and services on the Internet. These platforms have access to our personal information, preferences, and behaviors, which they can use for their own benefit or sell to third parties. They can also censor, manipulate, or exploit us without our consent or knowledge. Insecurity Web2 is vulnerable to various attacks and threats from hackers, scammers, or malicious actors who can steal, leak, or tamper with our data and accounts. We have to rely on passwords, encryption, or verification methods that are often weak or compromised. We also have to trust third parties to store and protect our data, which they may fail to do. Inefficiency Web2 is dependent on centralized servers and databases that are often slow, expensive, or unreliable. We have to pay fees or commissions to use certain services or platforms that may not meet our needs or expectations. We also have to deal with intermediaries or middlemen who may add complexity or friction to our transactions or interactions. These problems have led some people to look for alternatives and solutions that can overcome the limitations and challenges of Web 2. This is where Web 3 comes in. The vision and the potential of Web 3. Web 3, also known as the decentralized web, is the third generation of the Internet that is emerging in the 2020. It is mainly a peer-to-peer -peer communication system, where users can directly connect and interact with each other without relying on centralized platforms or intermediaries. Web3 is powered by blockchain technology, which is a distributed ledger that records and verifies transactions on a network of computers. Blockchain technology enables decentralization, transparency, and security on the Internet. Web3 promises to solve some of the problems and challenges of Web2 by offering some advantages and benefits such as Decentralization Web3 allows users to own and control their own data, content, and services on the Internet. Users can choose what to share and with whom without giving up their privacy or sovereignty. Users can also participate in governance and decision-making processes on various platforms and protocols. Security, Web3 protects users from various attacks and threats from hackers, scammers, or malicious actors who cannot access or tamper with their data and accounts. Users do not have to rely on passwords, encryption, or verification methods that are often weak or compromised. Users also do not have to trust third parties to store and protect their data, which they can do themselves. Efficiency, Web3 enables faster, cheaper and more reliable transactions and interactions on the Internet. Users do not have to pay fees or commissions to use certain services or platforms that may meet their needs or expectations. 
Users also do not have to deal with intermediaries or middlemen who may add complexity or friction to their transactions or interactions. As you can see, Web3 has a lot of potential and promise to transform the internet as we know it today. But is it really feasible and realistic? Or is it just hype and speculation? Let's see the challenges and the risks of Web3. Web3 is still in its early stages of development and adoption. It faces many challenges and risks that may hinder or delay its progress and success. Some of these are Scalability Web3 is limited by the scalability and performance of blockchain technology, which is often slow, expensive, or congested. It is challenging to process large amounts of data and transactions on a distributed network of computers. It is also difficult to achieve interoperability and compatibility among different blockchains and platforms. Usability Web3 is complex and technical for most users, who may not understand or appreciate its benefits and features. It requires users to have certain knowledge and skills to use it safely and effectively. It also requires users to have certain tools and devices to access and interact with it. Regulation Web3 is subject to various legal and regulatory issues and uncertainties that may affect its viability and legitimacy. It may face resistance or opposition from governments, authorities, or institutions that may not approve or support its vision and values. It may also face disputes or conflicts with existing laws or rules that may not apply or adapt to its innovations and implications. These challenges and risks may pose some obstacles and difficulties for Web3 to achieve its full potential and promise. However, they may also create some opportunities and incentives for Web3 to improve and evolve. What about the future and the hype of Web3? Web3 is a vision and a movement that aims to create a better and more democratic internet for everyone. It is not a fixed or final product or service that can be easily defined or measured. It is an ongoing process and experiment that can change and adapt over time. Web3 is not without hype and speculation, as many people have high expectations and hopes for its future. However, hype and speculation are not necessarily bad or harmful, as they can also generate interest and awareness for its development and adoption. Web3 is not a guarantee or a certainty, as it faces many challenges and risks that may affect its feasibility and realism. However, challenges and risks are not necessarily insurmountable or inevitable, as they can also inspire innovation and collaboration for its improvement and evolution. Web3 is not a utopia or a dystopia, as it has both advantages and disadvantages that may affect its impact and outcome. However, advantages and disadvantages are not necessarily fixed or permanent, as they can also depend on how we use and shape it. Web3 is what we make of it. I hope this video was helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more crypto content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.